check it out. I made a manual pick and place machine. So yeah, it was time to up my game. So instead of just using the vacuum pen to place all my components, I decided to make a manual pick and place machine. Now this is not my own design. This was originally inspired from a user called V Papanik, V P A P A N I K. I'll leave a link to his page and his designs and everything for this down in the descriptions. I changed a few little things on it. It probably didn't come out quite as good as his, so by all means, use his plans. Uh, I think the two things I really changed, if you look at his plans, he has a bunch of MDF plywood built up like two or three inches wide and has his rail sitting on top of it, where I just used a single vertical three-quarter inch piece of plywood on each side. And I think my rails, I probably should have gotten half-inch rails. I got three-quarter uh, three inch angle iron that I'm using. So, I think the half inch probably would have been better, but otherwise I've pretty much copied them. And he also uses a needle bearing for his Z-axis. I am using a linear bearing, a $5 one. I'm not exactly happy with its results. And see, it slides really nicely on these skateboard bearings. It's beautiful. Especially going back and forth, the Y-axis, the X-axis. It works fairly well. I haven't gotten everything completely lined up yet, so she still will twist a little bit, but for all intents and purposes, it works, and I'm going to give it a shot today. So, go check out his website, and I'm going to show you how mine works out, because we're going to try building this board today, and see how easy it is. Okay, so I got all the components I need, except for the LEDs, because i got to figure out the orientation correctly for them. I don't have them put up here right now, but I got my solder paste on my board, I got the rest of my components... I'm about ready to plug in the uh, vacuum pump for the needle. Um, I did the lighting as much as I could. I definitely need to add LED lights on the bottom here. Um, let's see here if I can zoom in here a little bit more. On the bottom of this tray at a future time. So this way I get more light down below for myself and also for videoing. But for the time being, we'll see what we can do with this.
So it actually worked pretty good. I definitely got to work on the z-axis that linear bearing kind of sucks and the using the skateboard bearings for the x and y axis you saw in the video it's really jumpy it moves extremely well I end up having to put my thumb on one of the bearings for the x axis to keep it from moving back and forth and then extending my finger so I can hold the y axis steady and then finally do the z axis it's definitely got a learning curve to it but it came out good I reflowed the board and let's see if it'll focus on that Ooh. Oh, come on. There we go. Oh, or maybe not. There we go. Came out really good. Uh, the only problem I had with it is the micro SD, the pins on the side of it. Unfortunately, um, it didn't take all the solder, some of the pins aren't touched, so I'm going to have to touch it up with the soldering iron. But that's not a fault of the pick and place machine. It's actually. The stencil is using from Osh stencils. This is only a three mil, not a five mil, and I probably should have ordered a five mil, a little thicker, so this way it puts a little more solder paste down. So if this is my final version of the board, I'll just order a different stencil, which is five mil thick instead of three mil. It'll put a little more solder paste on the board, and everything should make a good contact. So it's a work in progress. I'd need to add lights to the bottom of it so you can actually focus and I can see a little bit better. I don't know if I'm going to do a vision system, sort of like the original person did. Um, if I can find something sort of like using the cheap USB microscopes and a standalone little 8 inch screen. I don't need a whole computer connected to it. If I can find something like that for relatively cheap, I might do it, but I've only searched for 5 seconds. I haven't found anything like that yet, but I'm not paying two or $300 for a standalone vision system. So, If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them below. And again, I'll have that link to the original designers down in the description, so make sure you click and look there.